What's up guys and welcome to another episode here on NRV Outdoors. Today we're here at the old Trophy Trial Stream to test out two iconic inline spinners. Today we have got the Panther Martin and we've got the MEPS. We've got them both in a silver blade in kind of a similar build and the exact same weight. We're going to be fishing these around today guys, comparing the two and having a ton of fun. So let's not waste any time, let's get started. And I think I'm going to start off the day with that Panther Martin right there with that little red and yellow body. So let's go ahead and get him out of his package here guys. We'll just quickly pop him out. Now, as a lot of you guys know, the trout fishermen out there that follow the channel, I don't use a whole lot of spinners, but when I do, I really like the Joe's flies just because it's got that added fly on the end. But a lot of you guys are super big fans of MEPS and Panther Martins. So I wanted to get out today, put the two side by side, fish them around, have a lot of fun with them and just see what happens. So let's go ahead and get this thing tied up. We're gonna start with just a simple fisherman's knot, improved clinch knot, if you will, very simple little knot here. Polymer knot is not quite necessary when you're working around treble hooks, it can just be a total pain in the butt. We'll get that little guy all tied up just like that pinch off our tag end and we'll get in here and we'll get started. So there's our first bait of the day. We'll fish it around and we'll see what happens. Let's get started. Oh, got one looking already. Got him. That took seconds, guys. Make sure the camera's rolling. Yeah, that took seconds. I dropped that little spinner in there and he absolutely crushed it. He absolutely just crushed it. Just pitched in the current, was not retrieving it back. I was just simply letting it work around down there. And that little beauty came over and just slapped it. Seen her come up out of the water, call him and chase it. And she came on over to get it. There we go, got that big beauty right in the net there. Coming in hot, it's our very first fish of the day. Didn't take too long. Super nice fish right here too. See how she's got it. We'll try to get her all undone here. There we go. Oh, yep, popped her off. Got it stuck in the net there. All right, guys, there's fish number one. Let's go on ahead and let her go. There she goes like a rocket, guys. Heck yeah. So there's fish number one of the day on the old Panther Martin, and it didn't take too long to get one to bite. You got that little number four blade there. And she come up out of the depths and just absolutely crushed it. So we'll keep fishing around, see if we can get us another one, and we'll just see what happens. Heck yeah, guys. Let's just slide right on out here into the creek, guys. We're gonna drop our spinner right over here in front of this bush, and we're gonna try to call somebody out of it. We're gonna allow the current to spin our blades while we pop it, and just see if there's anybody in here. Don't look like it, but you don't know unless you try it. And it's always worth a try, guys. Absolutely always. We'll just run him on out of there now, nice and slow. Yep, nobody inside of there, but it was worth checking. Point our rod tip out towards the center, just to make sure that our retrieve comes back in the exact line that we want it to. Keep that in mind, guys. When you're fishing these spinners, your rod tip determines where and how it comes back to you. So it's important to be kind of adverse and uh, willing to try different stuff when it comes to how you position your rod while retrieving your spinner. Oh guys, got one right in the butt. right in the butt seen her come over and try to get it and i'm guessing she swirled at the perfectly wrong time and that spinner snagged her right in the hind corners oh and she broke it off gosh guys i hate that that happens that is probably one of the worst feelings in all of trout fishing when you accidentally snag something and then break him off like that gosh that sucks guys maybe we'll get lucky and uh, we can catch him again and get the spinner off of his hindquarters there, but we'll keep fishing around. We'll go on ahead and grab out our little MEPS here. We'll fish it around next and we'll see what happens. Got him on. 
on the old map spinner. Slide on down the bank here. Angry fish. Got him in this current. We got him in the net. Heck yeah. Big old nice one right there. That old map spinner right in the roof of the mouth there. Let's just let her go right here. There she goes. Heck yeah, guys. So that's one to one so far. And both bites were almost instantaneous once the spinner hit the water. So it's pretty safe to say they're both putting in work really good so far. Heck yeah. There he is. Got another one. Mips is absolutely putting in work, guys. Another super nice fish here. About to slide on back down this old bank. <laughs> Angry fish. Angry. Slide right on down here into the creek. There we go. There we go. Heck yeah, guys. So that's pretty much two to two, I would say, on the two spinners. They're both really doing good getting bites, keeping these fish active. There we go. Turn that old spinner right on out. Let's just let this little beauty take right back off right here again. There she goes. Heck yeah, guys. All right, guys, last cast on this little run right here. We're gonna take our little spinner somewhere else. Trying to keep it right up against that bank over there, giving it every chance to get spotted. All right, guys, we'll keep it moving. We'll head on downstream here. We'll see what we can find. All righty, guys, this is one of my favorite little holes right here to flip and pitch spinners. I've caught a lot of fish flipping right here. So we'll just flip him on out there. We'll use our left hand to pull the spinner back, just like so. And if you would like to watch a full in-depth video on this technique, I'll leave it linked down below for you guys. You guys can go watch that after the, you get done with this video. Oh, there he was right there. He come out and slapped it, guys. There he is. There he is. Come out from under that old tree. Oh, he's angry. Kick the old mips right there. It'll happen. I'm thinking that it's time to go back to the old Panther Martin. And what I've got here, guys, is a Panther Martin and a mips in the gold blade. So I wanna fish those around to end out this video. I wanna just uh, kinda of cast them around, see what happens. Um, compare the two. The only difference really is the body color and the uh, blade color. Like I said, this particular color is gold. Once again, a very simple fisherman's knot is our knot of choice while tying up these inline spinners. There we go. Pull that nice and tight. All right, let's go on ahead and try out the old gold blade. Let's see what happens. We're gonna do the same thing, guys. We're just gonna pitch it out and uh, just pull it back in with the string on a rod here, guys. Very simple, easy technique to use. 
just going to slow roll this blade right on through there now one thing i'm sure a lot of you guys know already but i'll tell you just in case you don't the panther martin has a lot stronger thump and the reason it's got such a stronger thump guys is the way the spinner's made as you can see here there's no clevis involved that blade just simply sets right on that little gold bead there on the top of the little weighted section and it causes a ton of flop that the fish absolutely love and it kind of you know it kind of differs than from other spinner baits because of that and that's one of the aspects about it that i really truly like let's let it get down there slow roll him on back I have a feeling i'm gonna have to put this thing straight into the current guys and pull it back that way oh there was one chasing here he comes he got it we got him oh yeah guys oh yeah absolutely stopped that spinner he come up out of the depths chasing it came over and absolutely crushed it right there heck yeah that is too much fun Let's see if we can get him with the old net cam there we go oh popped off in the net can't ask for more than that guys there's that little old panther a gorgeous fish right there let's let her go take off girl heck yeah guys there we go so there's one on that old gold blade for the old panther we're going to cast it in here again and uh, just see if we can get another one to chase because that was a lot of fun and that big girl just chased all the way up here to the bank and then just completely stopped it way too much fun guys way too much fun so we fished around the old panther there for a while called one over really quickly and he just completely crushed it but what i'm thinking guys let's go ahead and grab out our meps here let's get him all rigged up it's a very similar body and a similar blade there we've got the red accents there on the bottom and we have our gold blade but as you can see here guys that major difference is there's a clevis there holding that blade onto the shank of that spinner there and so there's really no crazy wobble however there's a very true and clean spin as you can see right there guys very true and clean and that's really what's made this bait so famous but when it comes to the two guys they are just as old as the sport they've been catching fish since the beginning of it and there's really and honestly no way to go wrong with fishing either one guys i did this video just to kind of put them side by side but the truth of the matter is guys there's no wrong answer when it comes to meps and panther martin there just isn't i would like to mention guys that if you want a chance to win both the panther martin and the meps simply head down there to the comments drop me a comment smash that like button and make sure you are subscribed that comment will be your entry to have a chance to win some of these to test out for yourself so go ahead and head down there now and leave me that comment all righty guys the very last cast of our experiment for the day right here and no chasers all right guys so that's pretty much going to do it for today's little video now i would like to say that both of these spinners are just absolute classics they're absolute legends and they both slay trout guys and they have been for years but i would have to give the dub to that panther martin today it just outshined a little bit more and caught a few more fish and uh, got more bites and just kept them chasing a little bit longer and i really think it's because that old panther martin was lacking that clevis there creating that awesome wobble that it's so famous for but get out if you can guys and give these a try and see what you think put them head to head in your own waters change up those blade colors and see what happens today being overcast that silver color really did shine but the gold didn't do too bad but get out if you can guys do some fishing and have some fun but most importantly be safe and tight lines